Hi everyone, Tasuki here with another video here. I'd like to clarify the video that I was working on is not this one you're seeing right now. You see, I decided to put it on the back burner for now because I'm not set on what I said slash scripted for that video. And it got overwhelming for me, so that's why I decided to put it on hold for now. Anyways, for today's video, I decided to talk about the weirdest dreams that I've had with characters from Atoma Games. And heads up, they're weird as heck. In warning, my first dream, I wasn't so sure to add this one in here because while in the dream, I kept slipping in and out of sleep during it, so I wonder if it was a dream or not. Sorry, I just want to let some of you guys know that. Anyways, I also apologize if I talk too fast during some parts in the video and for some background noise as well. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Okay, for the weirdest dream I have ever had in my life was this. Basically, um, how do I explain this? <laughs> Well, the dream first started off with me in like in a classroom, like in a college or school classroom, and then all of a sudden, boom, a mega like robot comes running through the room. And how I can describe the design of the mega robot, it looked like one of those designs where it looked like the per you could see the person inside the mega robot. Anyway, I hear everyone screaming and shouting, freaking out in the middle room because something just crashed through the wall. And I'm sorry to say this, but Dream Me is a fucking dumbass. Like, this girl, she decided to transform into a magical girl in front of everyone. Bruh. So, she says her magical girl phrase, she transforms to a magical girl, and instead of everyone freaking out over the mecha, they turn towards me, and they start freaking out because I just transformed in front of everybody. And then here's the kicker. I looked into the crowd, and guess who's effing there? Leonto Sakamaki from Double Glovers is there, and then he was all like, confused as fuck, he was all like, bitch Tom? And then after that, I just shot awake. Okay, now with my dream out of the way, you're probably wondering, how the hell did this dream come up in my brain? Well, I have a basic theory of my own of how this happened. My theory is that, um, around the time when I had this dream, that Majiga Madoka game came out and I was playing a little bit of that late at night and on top of that I was eating a crap ton of Dove Dark Almond Chocolate and I was thinking about Leoto's character and how interesting of a character he is. But for the part where I was in a classroom and the mecha breaking through the wall, I have zero idea how that popped into my head. Okay, for our next dream, this is another Double Clover's character. A quick reminder or quick background info. I don't know how the hell this dream came up. It just randomly came up to me and it just snooked behind me. And after I woke up, I was like, how the hell did that even happen? Basically, this is the dream in question. Basically, it felt like flashes, like every time my eyes, like it felt like I was watching like myself, like in that scenario. Like I felt like I was like a, like a witness or like a bystander, like watching this all happen. Anyways, the dream goes like this. I see myself, the triplets are in front of me, and they're all looking at me, and then Kanato like comes up closer to me, and then everything goes black, and then I find myself like in a doll room, probably Kanato's doll wax museum. Anyways, my vision goes black again, and then I see myself like running down the hall, probably escaping from that room, and then I see Kanato grabbing my arm really hard, by the wrist and pull me back to where I was put in that room because maybe I, maybe Kanato put me into that room. And then after that, the dream just ended. And like earlier, I was like, what the fuck was that? Okay, for our next dream I had, this one had Bob Missanari in it. How do I describe this dream? This is also really random and flopping weird. Like there's no me like conversation with Baba. Anyways. The dream starts out with me waking up in the middle of like some sea aquarium like glass hallway. Like this, like the sceneries like in the game Bioshock. Anyways, I was walking down this glass hallway and then all of a sudden I see Baba walking towards me and this dude was not wearing like his usual attire that he wears in the games. He was wearing like, this is so fucking weird. He was wearing like full on spy gear, like the whole black outfit, the spy gadgets, the spy goggles, you name it. He was wearing all over that, all over his body. And he didn't even talk to me. He just like walked past me. And then before I could, or I think I turned around or before I could, I just shot away and I was like, 
Huh? What the hell was that? And then that was it. Like, I know it's a really short dream, but that was so random. Okay, another dream I had with Baba. Like, I'm sorry, but Dreamy, she was such a fucking biatch towards Baba for no reason. I had like, basically how I describe my dream is that it felt like flashes of like scenes from like a movie. That's how it felt like to me. Anyways, I had like, I saw some ones where it looked like I was being rude to Baba for no fucking reason. And I woke up and I was like, why was I being a bitch towards Baba? Like, why was I being so rude to him? Like, what did he ever do to you? Okay, yeah. Were those reads weird or what? And that's it. I hope you enjoy watching this video. I hope to have another video out shortly, but don't be surprised, it'll be a long while. Anyways, see you around.